So Stadia and iOS guys has finally released and we have full access and we're ready to go. My job in this video is to go ahead and show you guys how to get this working and take a first look on how this is running and playing. With that, make sure you guys hit that like button as it's so helpful. Subscribe also to one of the fastest growing cloud gaming channels in all of YouTube, as well as hit that notification bell. So the first things first, guys, you want to go ahead and make sure you guys are up to date on your iOS device. At the time of this video, it is at 14.3, but you guys want want to make sure you're always up to date regardless of when you see this and the first thing you'll want to do is head to stadia.google.com in your safari browser go ahead and make sure you're logged into your google account from here you can actually play every time you just launch off of this url in your browser but to go ahead and make things easier let's go ahead and streamline this process hit that middle button here with the box and the arrow pointing up scroll down you're going to want to click on the portion that says add to home screen from here on now you'll have an icon that you can just simply launch stadia off of with that once that is all good to go you have several options in regards to a controller you can go ahead and connect your stadia a controller through your wi-fi by using the link code as shown here but if you don't have a stadia controller you can go ahead and just connect your bluetooth controller as shown here in the video you can use an xbox controller PlayStation, or any sort of generic Bluetooth controller that you own. There is several ways to game on Stadia, and a few of the games do have a good support for a mobile touchpad, so keep that in mind. With that, let's go ahead and take a look at the performance here. I started with my Xbox One Bluetooth controller. It worked pretty smooth, and I had no hiccups with my gameplay. And the little time that I got to mess with this, it was pretty smooth for the most part. Jumping in, though, with the Stadia controller playing Cyberpunk 2077. This was once again even smoother than using the Bluetooth controller as the Stadia controller does provide a slightly less input lag since it does connect directly to Wi-Fi. And overall, even with this being a beta, in the little time that I've gotten to play this, my experience has been very, very good. Keep in mind, though, this is a rollout of a beta, so you could experience some issues here and there. But either way, glad to see this fully rolled out and working. With that, guys, let me know down below if you have any requests in regards to any potential problems you might have. Hopefully, a fellow community member can help you with any answers. Also, let me know down below how so far Stadia and iOS has been working for you. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you found the video helpful, and subscribe for more Stadia content and cloud gaming, especially Stadia videos. I'm Sunny, and like always, I'll see you guys in the cloud.